So uh, I wasn't expecting the indexes all to go green today. I'm not complaining, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. But in my last video update, we saw how the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, they were all in the red. And they all turned green somehow. Looks like the Russell, well, the Russell was already up over 1% earlier. So small caps were crushing it all day. But the Russell closed up 1.3% on the day. So that crushed it. But again, the Dow, S&P, and the NASDAQ, those were down about a quarter, maybe 0.3% each. And they ended up going up around a quarter percent each on the day so we're going to cover the indexes very quickly in this video guys but more importantly i want to focus on seven companies seven stocks all of which just reported earnings today so we're going to break down the earnings in this video the charts of these stocks all that good stuff so hit the like button of course make sure to subscribe you might as well get up to 15 stocks for momo as well each up to two thousand dollars guys using that link down below you might as well do it and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so check it out we had all the indexes like i said go green on the day which is pretty interesting considering uh we can see spy was at 504 in the middle of the day and you can see that crazy rally here and triple q in the middle of the day was right around let's see <clears throat> excuse me guys 435 then we rallied all the way to about 437.60 at close so that's a pretty good sign overall for the bulls here on spy and triple q the fact that we were red and then we saw a nice v-shape recovery heading into close and now we're actually testing the top of this little mini downwards channel that we're in on triple q you guys can see right here on this five day five minute you can see it so if we do start breaking above let's say you know 438 440 on triple q this could be setting up for a breakout. I know it sounds crazy, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here on the five-day, five-minute chart. And let's see if SPY is looking similar there, guys. Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. We're at the top of this little downwards channel that it's in. Nothing crazy. You guys see that. But now we're testing the top of it at about 507. Uh, so we'll see if that does end up breaking out. We'll see. Um, time will tell. So that's a quick breakdown here on what's going on in the very, very short term on SPY and Triple Q. And with that being said, guys, let's dive into the meat and potatoes of this video, which of course is, well, the seven stocks that we have to break down. At number one, we have Lowe's, ticker symbol LOW, and this stock went up around 2%, about 1.8 to be exact on the day. Uh, looks like up over $4 on the day. So it looks like Lowe's reported EPS of $1.58, which missed the $1.68 expected, but they did beat on sales $18.6 billion versus $18.45 billion expected. So they beat sales, but again, they missed on EPS. And it looks like here, uh, Q4 comparable sales were down about 6.2% due to slowdown in DIY demand and unfavorable January winter weather, which of course means, uh, you know, less people are going outside doing home renovations and so forth, which makes sense. And they see, let's see, full year 24 operating margin of 12.6 <clears throat> to 12.7%. And they see full year 24 capital spending at about $2 billion. All right. And for revenue, they see around 84 to $85 billion versus $85.6 billion expected for full year 24 revenue outlook. And EPS, $12 to $12.30 versus the $12.95 expected. So guidance is a bit soft, especially for EPS. Um, not that soft when it comes to revenue, but EPS is a good chunk under that almost $13 estimate but it looks like Lowe's guys is still moving higher again two percent green day almost on the day and it looks like here we are now testing the highs from a couple of months ago where we hit around uh where was this back in september august july we hit about 235 240 yeah that's where we're at Right now, we have a bit of a cup and handle, inverse head and shoulders as well, whatever you want to call it. So let's see if that plays out. Maybe we break 240. You know, we could be going a lot higher from there. So that is 
Lowe's ticker symbol L O W. And then we also had a lending tree report earnings and their stock went down almost 5% on the day. So lending tree reported adjusted EPS of 28 cents, which beat the four cents expected, but they did miss on sales. $134.4 million versus 135.59 million expected. So BDPS Miss sales and let's see here. They expect Q1 revenue of 158 to 168 million dollars versus the 165 million expected, and they see 2024 revenue of 650 to 690 million dollars, which is a decline of three percent year over year, with the estimate being 715 million dollars. So guidance is a bit soft here for Lending Tree guys. And it looks like we did take that beating to uh, about $32.60. And earlier in the day, guys, we were actually in the 28s. You heard that right. At one point, we were down about 17%. So, yeah, I would consider today a win, a victory for the Bulls because, man, it was, you know, it was looking ugly. 17% in the red to, to only a 5% red day. That is quite the recovery. Yes, it was a red day, but man, Bulls recovered a lot of the loss from earlier, which we'll see how it plays out. Again, we are still above the 180 SMA here. We're arguably holding an uptrend. I mean, we are holding an uptrend. Maybe we do get a bit of a relief rally. Arguably, that could uh, you know be coming here. So Lending Tree, watch out for it. We also had Macy's Report earnings. And let's see what they did here, guys. Um, looks like Macy's, but ba -ba -ba, where are these earnings? Come on, come on, Macy's, where are you? There we go. EPS adjusted $2.45. That beat the $1.96 expected. Sales $8.12 billion versus $8.15 billion expected. So they beat EPS. Missed on sales, and it looks like here they see full year 24 adjusted EPS of 245 to 285 versus the 301 expected, so very soft on EPS guidance. And net sales 22.2 to $22.9 billion versus $23.32 billion, so soft on sales guidance as well. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know how this stock went up a good chunk today. Um, and earlier in the day, it was up even more, almost to $21 per share, which is interesting considering the soft guidance. Uh, but hey, man, what what are we going to do? It, it is what it is, right? So we have a golden cross. We're above the moving averages. We're starting to break out now um, on these numbers. So let's see if maybe 20 to $21 tests again. This is where the stock has been. Maybe if that breaks we go even higher, so Macy's, keep your eyes on it. We also had Kava report earnings, CAVA is the ticker, and this stock went up 12% on the day. So let's see here, guys. Kava reported, um, where the heck are their numbers? It looks like EPS of $0.02, cents, which that is up from the loss of $13.72 uh, from last year, which is nuts. Sales, $177 million versus $174 million. That B, and it looks like here Kava expects 2024 adjusted EBITDA of 86 to 92 million dollars and sees same store restaurant sales growth of three to five percent and restaurant level profit margin of 22.7 to 23.3 percent which is pretty impressive if you ask me guys and this is another one that's breaking out it looks like with today's move we're taking out the highs from a couple of days ago about 10 days ago we hit around 55 56 bucks we broke out of there and now we're testing the highs from it looks like the beginning of august being about 57 dollars if kava breaks that point we could be really flying uh, from that point, and that actually would be an all-time high. In fact, we might have hit an all-time high. Was that today? Yeah, it looks like today, guys, we hit an all-time high on Kava. So watch out for it to see if that momentum continues. We also had DVN report earnings, Devon Energy, and let's see. Um, did they report or did they not? Wait a second here, guys. Um, actually, no, they did not. They're tomorrow. That's my mistake. Devon Energy Group or Corp is tomorrow. So keep your eyes on them. I'm not sure why I had them 
on the list for today. But either way, Devon Energy is heading into earnings tomorrow at the top of this channel, this downwards channel at that. Uh, we're right around $44 right now. So let's see how that plays out heading into earnings. We did, though, have Virgin Galactic report today. And let's see what they're looking like. Their stock went up almost 7% on the day. But after the bell, it is down a little bit. It looks like here um, about 11 cents, which for a $1.90 stock, that is a decent drop. Uh, that's about an 8% drop here after the bell. So Virgin Galactic reported... Um, let's see, gap EPS of negative 26 cents, which beat the loss of 30 cents expected. That's good, but sales missed $2.81 million versus $2.98 million expected. And let's see how much they lost. I mean, millions, right? Hundreds, uh, maybe not hundreds of millions anymore. Um, there it is, Q4 loss, $104 million. So they're making on the top line, barely uh, $3 million, but they're burning $104 million. This is unfreaking believable, guys. And who knows how long that's going to last, but we're not going to get into that in this video. Looks like here they see Q1 revenue of $2 million. Um, I'm not sure what they see when it comes to um, EPS, but either way, they're losing money. Not surprising at all especially if you've been tracking this company it's obvious that it's a money loser and now it's in penny stock territory so it's very very risky it's always been risky uh but now as it keeps going down i wouldn't be surprised if they did a reverse stock split or something like that uh to get the stocks you know stock price back up uh because with this thing going towards under a dollar no one's really going to be messing with it like that but if they do that reverse stock split you never know but hey, Virgin Galactic, SPCE, keep your eyes on it. And last but not least here, guys, it's Beyond Meat, BYND, which holy smokes. Hold on a second here, guys. What is going on? Wait, they closed that 750 up about 1% on the day. And now they're up to almost $14 on the, on the aftermarket. Oh my goodness. That, oh, whoa, whoa. 73%. I'm freaking speechless right now, guys. 73% move after the bell. At one point, it was up over 100%. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here, guys? Um, so it looks like here, adjusted EPS, negative 240. That missed the negative 88 cents expected. Sales beat, though, 73.7 million versus 66.66 million. Uh, so they uh, beat sales misty ps um looks like here what else what the heck's going on um looks like they guided for full year 24 revenue of 315 to 345 million uh versus the 344 million expected all right right in line q1 revenue seen at 70 to 75 million the estimate was 86 million so that's way worse than the estimate for q1 revenue uh but looks like uh they're targeting cost cuts this year um, with sliding sales, all right, that's smart. They have no choice. What else are they going to do? But why is the stock moving like this? Is this because they're a high short interest stock? People are, you know, covering their short. I don't know what's going on, but we are up a massive, massive amount after the bell on Beyond Meat, which instantly puts it at the top of my watch list um, heading into tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think? We covered a bunch of stocks here, the indexes, some thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for a Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Fund your account at least 100 bucks Using that link down below, you get five stocks. And funded with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars so get on it guys use that moomoo link down below and with that being said i'll catch you all later